Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I did a video recently where I was comparing the Axe FX to a Kemper and I got lots of comments where people were saying that the Kemper has way better clean sounds than the Axe FX. Now, the Kemper's different to the Axe FX because the Kemper is a profiler. Basically, what you're gonna do with a Kemper is to get a great sound on your valve amplifier, plug it into the Kemper and then to capture a snapshot of that sound. Now, we all know the Axe FX is a modeler, it's not a profiler. The Axe FX has models of particular amplifiers, which then you can alter and change to the sound that you want. Now, for me personally, even though I've got a Kemper, I do prefer the Axe FX. I think it's far more versatile in what you can do. So those comments where people were saying you can get a better clean sound out of the Kemper than the Axe FX really got me thinking about how we could get the Axe FX to react more like a valve amp. I've set up a really simple signal flow where basically we've got the input going into an amplifier, going into a cab, into a delay, to a reverb, coming out of the output. And it sounds like this. I've chosen quite a bland sounding clean sound. I've done that for a reason, just to show how versatile the X effects is just by tweaking a couple of things. The amp model that I'm using today is the Dirty Shirley. The Dirty Shirley is one of my favorite amps of all time. It's originally based on a modded Marshall JTM45. And you can think that a JTM45 was actually first based on a Fender Bassman. So we can get some really great clean sounds out of it. Now, personally, I love valve amps. I've had loads in the past and I've still got quite a few now, but what I particularly like about valve amps is the input and output compression. Now, when you plug into a valve amp, you get a natural compression through the input stage and through the output tubes as well. So what we can do with the Axe FX is to add that natural feeling and sounding compression in the amp block. Now, as I said, I've chosen this particularly bland clean sound. <laughs> Now, because this is quite a bland sound, I'm gonna go into my preamp, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is turn on my input boost. I'm gonna bring the boost level all the way back to about 3 dB. What this is gonna do is to add some natural drive going into the front of the amp. So when I pick lightly, it still remains clean, and when I pick harder, it just starts to break up really slightly. Now, I'm also gonna turn on the saturation switch, and I'm gonna switch it on to the ideal setting, and I'm gonna bring the saturation drive to about Already this is starting to feel more responsive to my touch so I can play really lightly and get some really clean tones out of it but as I pick harder we start to drive the front end of the amp. So there's the first stage. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to go into my dynamics. I'm gonna turn my input dynamics up. Now what this is gonna be is the, the front end dynamics, the dynamics going into the front of the amp. And I'm only gonna turn it up a little way to about 1.4. Now already that feels so much better to me as what we're starting to get now is some of that natural compression going into the front of the amp. Now we can also turn up the compression on the output stage as well. And we'll turn it up to about 1.5.
Now to me, that feels like I'm plugged into my, my matches over there. You get that initial input compression where the front of the amp just sags a little bit and you get the output compression. So you're losing all that sort of spiky top end, that initial transient that you get, and you actually get more sustain out of it. Now we're not using a ton of compression on this and we're not actually using a compressor in the front end. We're just changing the way that the amp reacts and I think it sounds absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.